Hey everybody, Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics and Urban Parm Project. Anyway, I was just thinking about, there's sis, that's Sissy the cat. She's a nice kitty. She's a friendly kitty. She's my friend's kitty. She's a nice kitty. Sweet. She's sweet, but we call her fatty. Little pig. She eats anything. She'll eat a cracker, a sandwich. Yeah, butter. Loves butter. Oh my gosh, she's a butter fanatic. Um, as I was thinking about the whole black marker pin, this is number two. And so what would you, why would they send me something like that? What would you use it for? The only thing I could think about is like marking out. And in the legal system, you can use black markers as redactors. Um, you redact, you know, information and what you don't want to be compliant with, you know, in the negotiation process of legal documents kind of a thing. So, yeah, something needs to be marked up, marked down, redacted. I just think it's interesting that, you know, the communication that happens in this world is so, like, symbolic and sometimes it's tried hard to figure out you know why they're sending me things or you know what's going on with certain things so I just kind of have to pay attention to I guess what's going to happen next and maybe what I'm going to need that marker for so um, anyway that was just kind of some thoughts that kind of occurred to me blackout it was a black marker so redact you black out the information so are they trying to say there's going to be a blackout um, marked out um, I don't know I just guess I'll have to wait and see um, see what happens okay this is part two of the out of thin air okay bye Thank you, Bridgeland Dog of Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project.